Welcome. Today we're going to review sentence structure and pronouns. Before we can start this lesson, we need to learn some new vocabulary. Have a drum. A drum is a musical instrument that you hit with your hand or a stick. The stick is called a drumstick. An electric guitar. An electric guitar is a musical instrument that you play with your fingers or with a pick. It is usually connected to an amplifier to make loud music and it has six strings. An acoustic guitar. An acoustic guitar is like an electric guitar, except its sound is softer. It does not have its sound made louder electronically. A bass guitar. A bass guitar is a musical instrument with four strings and it is used to play low notes. A tambourine. A tambourine. A tambourine is a circular musical instrument with small pieces of metal around its edge that make a sound when you shake it like that. An organ. An organ is a large musical instrument with one or more keyboards. We have a band. A band is a group of musicians who play popular music. The main singer in a band is called the lead singer or lead vocalist. And one more, put down here, a microphone. A microphone is a piece of equipment that you speak into to make your voice louder. So we have here a drum, an electric guitar, an acoustic guitar, a bass guitar a tambourine, an organ, a band, and a microphone. Well, today we're going to review again, and let's begin. Let's review sentence structure again. Most sentences have a subject, a verb, and an object. So let's put them on the board. Subject, plus verb, plus object. For example, let's, uh, let's put a sentence on the board. The singer was drinking a beer. And the man played his new guitar last night. Let's use Madonna. Madonna is our subject. Madonna is making a new album. Object, a new album. And finally, you too will play a new song. Let's look at the subjects. In the first sentence, singer is the subject. In the second sentence, man is the subject. In the third sentence, Madonna is the subject. And in the fourth sentence, you too is the subject. Now let's look at the verbs. In the first sentence, the singer was drinking is the verb, past continuous. The second sentence, the man played his new guitar last night, past simple. In the third sentence, we have is making, present continuous. And the final sentence, will play, future tense. Now let's look at the objects. 
In the first sentence, the singer was drinking a beer, is the direct object. In the second sentence, the man played his new guitar, is the direct object. The third sentence, Madonna is making a new album. And the last sentence, you two will play a new song, is the object. Let's look at them in a different way. The singer, subject, was drinking, verb, a beer. The singer was drinking a beer. The man, subject, played, verb, his new guitar, object, last night. The man played his new guitar last night. Madonna, subject, is making, that's the verb, is making a new album, object. Madonna is making a new album. And you two, subject, will play, verb, a new song, object. You two will play a new song. Well, let's practice these now. And these should be very easy for you, my assistants. Okay, we need a sentence. The drummer broke the drumstick. The drummer broke the drumstick. Rosa, what's the subject? That's easy. The drummer. Good. We'll put subject. Uh, Monica, what's the verb? Broke is the verb. Simple Broke past tense is, is used. The verb. Yes. And finally, Lewis, how about the object? The object is drumstick. Excellent. Okay, now let's do another one. The band doesn't have an organist. The band doesn't have an organist. Rosa, what's the subject? It's band. Good. Lewis, what's the verb? Doesn't have. Doesn't have. And Monica, what's the object? Organist. Organist. Excellent. Organist. Person who plays the organ. Very good. I think you know this pretty well. Now let's look and listen. Look and listen. The band doesn't have an organist. The guitarist needs a new pick. Larry bought a new tambourine. That Gibson is a beautiful guitar. Well, many sentences can also have indirect objects. These objects refer to things or people that benefit from an action. They can come after the verb or they can follow a preposition at the end of a sentence. Let's look at some. He sang a song to me. She played the guitar for him. And the lead singer gave Jean an autograph. In the first sentence, in the first sentence, me is the indirect object. 
in direct object. We have he, subject, sang, verb, song, direct object, to me, indirect object. The second sentence, the indirect object is him. She played the guitar for him. In the third sentence, the indirect object is an autograph. The lead singer gave Jean an autograph. Sentences can also have complements. These usually come after a verb. Now these words give us uh, information about the subject. A complement is often used with the verbs be, seem, or look. So let's have a look at some of these now. Compliments. Compliments. The lead vocalist is Irish. The drummer seems angry. The lead vocalist is Irish and the drummer seems angry. In the first sentence, Irish is the compliment. It tells us about the lead vocalist. And the second sentence, angry is the compliment. It tells us or it describes the drummer. You can see that in these sentences a compliment can be an adjective. It can also be a noun. Well, let's practice these now. Look at this picture and give me a sentence using the compliment. Uh, Monica, you can go first. Okay. Terrace is handsome. Handsome is a compliment. Great. Okay, Lewis, you're next. I think the electric guitar is expensive. Expensive is the compliment. Good. And Rosa? The lead singer seems angry. Angry is the compliment. Okay, very good. And excellent work, everybody. Now let's look and listen. Look and listen. The lead vocalist is Italian. He is very sexy. The organist is American. He is very tall. Adjectives. Now we can talk about adjectives. He is the best guitarist in the band. The man played a Red organ. The curly haired singer had a great voice. And the last one, Fred is a terrible drummer. He is the best guitarist in the band. The man played a red organ. The curly-haired singer had a great voice. Fred is a terrible drummer. In the first sentence, best is the adjective. In the second sentence, red is the adjective. In the third sentence, curly-haired 
is the adjective. And finally, in the fourth sentence, terrible, the adjective. So adjectives are words that give us more information about a noun or a pronoun. They can be used before or after the noun. Adjectives can be made comparative. Good becomes better. Nice becomes nicer. And young becomes younger. Adjectives can also be made superlative. Good, better, best. Nice, nicer, nicest. And young, younger, youngest. When we use a string of adjectives, there is an order. This is the order. We say size, color, origin, where something is from, material, purpose, why we use it, and finally, noun. So, for example, we could say the small, that's the size, the small, purple, German, wooden, bass guitar, was on the table. Let's practice. Okay, let's use adjectives in sentences. Monica, what do you think of Mick Jagger? I think he's an ugly man. He writes great songs. He's very famous. Lewis, do you like the Spice Girls? No, I don't. Their music is silly. I love heavy metal. Metallica is the best band in the world. And the loudest. Okay, now it's time for our great look and listen. Look and listen. The Beatles had long hair. Mary's favorite band is Led Zeppelin. They aren't using a new microphone. The French group was playing romantic music. Adverbs. And now it's time to review adverbs. The guitarist played quickly. Marie always listens to Chuck Berry. I am going to buy a tambourine tomorrow and he plays the drums well in the first sentence quickly is the adverb in the second sentence always is the adverb. In the third sentence, tomorrow is the adverb. And in the fourth sentence, well 
is the adverb. Adverbs are words or groups of words that describes or adds to the meaning of the verb. Now, an adjective or another adverb. Uh, they can be of time, early, late, yesterday. They can be of manner, well or quickly. They can be of place, for example, upstairs, downstairs. And they can be of frequency, always, often, sometimes, rarely. Adverbs often appear at the end of sentences. We see quickly, tomorrow, well. But they can sometimes be used at the beginning or in the middle. Here we have Marie always listens to Chuck Berry. Never can only be used in the middle of a sentence. Okay, so now let's talk about adverbs. Rosa, are you going to the rock concert? Maybe I might go to the one tomorrow. I don't want to be late home. Mm, okay, good. Lewis, what about you? Yes, I will go to Ben Skeeter's place quickly, but carefully. I agree. Are you going, Monica? No, I must go to bed early. I never go to concerts. They give me a headache. I'm sorry. Thank you, everybody. Once again, it's time to look and listen. Look and listen. The band walked slowly to the stage. The famous organist died yesterday. The drummer plays well. The bass guitarist just ran upstairs. Prepositions. Okay, so now let's review prepositions. The band played on the stage. The guitarist put the pick in his pocket. The concert will start at 8 o'clock. And the lead singer held his tambourine above his head. Let's have a look at these sentences. In the first sentence, the band played on the stage. On is the preposition. The second sentence, the guitarist put the pick in his pocket. In is the preposition. The concert will start at 8 o'clock. At is the preposition. And the lead singer held his tambourine above his head, above is the preposition. A preposition is a word which is used to show the way in which other words are connected. A preposition usually comes before a noun or a pronoun, before the stage, before pocket, before his pronoun, his head. It can also come at the end of a clause in certain structures. For example, it's not something I am interested in, with the preposition here at the end. Now, some words can only be followed by certain prepositions. Uh, let's get some space. Let's take this off. Okay, some words only used with certain prepositions. For example, the guitarist was kind to his friends. And she is good 
at singing. So what this means is kind, when we use something was kind to, we always use to with this, uh, this verb. The guitarist was kind to, not kind at or kind for, always kind to. And she is good at singing. She can sing well. She is good at singing, not good to singing or good for singing. Always good at singing. Well, let's look at prepositions. Uh, Rosa, where is the concert tonight? It's at the park in front of the fountain. Good answer. Lewis, who is your favorite musician? Eric Clapton is my favorite musician. I have all the CDs in my collection. I keep them under my bed. That's an interesting place to keep your CDs. Monica, uh, are you interested in Alanis Morissette? I don't know her, Rob. I think she's from Canada. My brother has her CD in his car, and he listens to it when he's with his girlfriend. Mm, I hope uh, his music is romantic. Okay, now, again, it's time to look and listen. Look and listen. The singer jumped off the stage into the crowd. The microphone was in its holder. Carl loves to listen to rock music on his CD player. The teens left for the concert at 12 o'clock. Conjunctions. Okay, now let's review conjunctions. The girl plays bass and the man plays electric guitar. The second sentence, the amplifier broke, so we cancelled the show. Third sentence, he can't play guitar, but his sister can. And the last sentence, she hates rock music because she says it has no melody. In the first sentence, and is the conjunction. And in the second sentence, so is the conjunction. In the third sentence, but is the conjunction. And in the final sentence, the conjunction is because. Conjunctions are words that connect sentences, clauses, or phrases. A clause is a group of words that has a subject and a verb. So we have, oh, it should be the girl. The girl plays bass. That's, a, that's a, uh, a clause. And then we have, the man plays electric guitar. The girl plays bass and the man plays electric guitar. Here is one clause. Here is another clause, and and connects them. Okay, let's put another one on the board. Rita loves rock music, but her father hates it. We can see here, but is joining to 
clauses, we can use only one conjunction for two clauses. One clause, another clause, one conjunction. Okay, let's review. Lewis, who is your favorite musician? My favorite musician was Jacob Pastoris. He could play the bass guitar and he could play lead guitar. He was great. Thank you, Lewis. Monica, who is your favorite musician? My favorite musician is Tori Amos. I like music, but I don't like loud music. Her music is soft. I like her too, Monica. And Rosa, who's your favorite musician? I like Spanish music. My favorite Spanish musician is Paco de Sia. Uh, I like him because he plays the guitar so beautifully. Yes, Paco de Lucia. He's uh, very good. Muy bien in Spanish. Thank you, everybody. Now you can look and you can listen. The concert started at 8 o'clock, so we had to leave early. I need a new microphone, but I don't have any money. Jimmy Page played a 12-string guitar, and John Paul Jones played a mandolin. Larry doesn't have any CDs because he doesn't like music. Pronouns. The last thing we will review today is pronouns. Okay, I play the drums. She gave her two tambourines. I built the guitar myself and that amplifier is his. I play the drums, she gave her two tambourines, I built the guitar myself, that amplifier is his. In the first sentence, I is a pronoun. In the second sentence, her is a pronoun, also she. In the third sentence, myself is a pronoun, and of course I. In the last sentence, his is the pronoun. A pronoun is a word that is used in place of a noun or a noun phrase. Subject pronouns are pronouns which are used in the place of a subject. We have, I play the drums. I is a subject pronoun. Object pronouns are used as the objects of the verbs or the prepositions. Uh, for example, she gave her two tambourines. This is the verb. This is the object of the verb. A reflexive pronoun is used as the object of a verb or a preposition when the subject and the object are the same. I, myself, are the same. I built the guitar myself. Possessive pronoun is used to show possession. And a possessive pronoun, uh, they're not followed by a noun. That amplifier is his. His is a possessive pronoun. Well, here is a chart that can help you remember. I 
me, myself, mine. You, you, yourself, yours. He, him, himself, his. She, her, herself, hers. It, it, itself, its. We, us, ourselves, ours. You, you, yourselves, yours. And they, them, themselves, and theirs. Now let's practice. Rosa, tell me about Carlos Santana. He is wonderful. I saw him once. He was so friendly. I'd like to meet him. Monica, what do you think of Eminem? I hate him. I had one of his CDs. I gave it to my brother. It's his now. Okay, Lewis, do you like British rock? I know the band Oasis. My friends all like Radiohead, but I don't know them well. Okay, thank you very much, everybody. Now look and listen to this. I bought her the new Sting CD for her birthday. Did you learn to play the guitar by yourself? This tambourine is yours. The guitarist gave them all autographs. Review. Now let's do some exercises. Uh, let's see. I'll give you a sentence and you tell me if there's a subject, verb, object and complement if there is one. Rosa, you can go first this time. The lead vocalist sang her a beautiful song. The uh, vocalist is the subject. Vocalist is the subject. Sang is the verb. Sang is the verb. Song is the indirect object. Uh, are you sure? Oh, sorry. Direct object. Song is a direct object. Good. And her is the indirect object. Excellent. Okay, very good. Here's a sentence for you, Lewis. The guitarist threw a pick to his bass player. Guitarist is the subject. Okay, this time we'll do the different way. S for subject. True is the verb. Okay, good. Verb. Pick is the object. Okay, which object? It's only one. We'll call that one object. Bass player is the indirect object. Okay, good. Bass player is the indirect object. Great. The organist is Russian. That's for you, Monica. Organist is the subject. Organist is the subject. Is is a verb. Is is the verb. Russian is the complement. Russian is the complement. Okay, good job everyone. Now let's do an exercise using adjectives. I want you to tell me a sentence and I want you to use three adjectives about a, mus a musician. Okay, Lewis, you can tell me about a drummer. And Monica, you can tell me about a singer. 
And Rosa, you can tell me about a guitarist. Okay. Okay, Lewis, what are your three sentences? Here are my sentences. I wrote about Ringo Starr. Okay. He has long hair. He is an excellent drummer. He has a strange voice. Great. Monica, what are yours? Uh, my sentences are about Anastasia. Anastasia. Um, her hair is blonde. She sings romantic songs. And she's a very sexy woman. Very sexy. Mm. Okay. And Rosa, your sentences? My brother loves the greatest guitarist, Jim Hendrix. Uh, he played the guitar with his left hand. He had black curly hair. Wonderful. Thank you very much, everybody. And now let's review adverbs. Okay, I'll give you a sentence and you can fill in the gap like we did in lesson one. Fill in the gap. Okay, Rosa, you can go first. Monica. Monica something goes to rock concerts. She doesn't like them. Monica never goes to rock concerts. She doesn't like them. Good. Monica never goes to rock concerts. Okay, let's do one for you, Lewis. Walk something. The concert doesn't start for two more hours. What do you think it is, Lewis? Walk slowly. The concert doesn't start for two more hours. Good. Walk slowly. That's an adverb. And Monica, I can't go to the concert. I have to study. I can't go to the concert tomorrow. I have to study. Good. I can't go to the concert tomorrow. Good job, everybody. Let's practice prepositions now. I'll give you a sentence and you can tell me what I'll give you is I'll give you a preposition and you can make a sentence using the preposition. Uh, the first one is for you, Monica. How about you use under? Okay. The tambourine is under the chair. Great. Rosa, can you make a sentence using on? The vocalist's bottle of water is on the amplifier. Very good. Lewis, can you use uh, a preposition? Can you make a sentence using the prepositions out of? Okay. The band came out of the left door. Excellent. Okay. The last exercise we'll do is about pronouns. And again, we'll do the same one. You can fill in the gaps. So let's take this off the board. And the first one will be. For Monica, you can go first this time. Cindy went to a concert. Henry had bought space, a ticket. That's simple. Cindy went to a concert. Henry had bought her a ticket. Good. Her. Cindy went to a concert. Henry had bought her a ticket. Lewis, you do this one. Alex went to the concert by what? I think Alex is a boy's name. Um, Alex went to the concert by himself. That's very good. Alex went to the concert by himself. Good. Rosa, the last one is for you. And here it is. Give mm. the tickets. You will lose them. I will put them in my pocket. What do you think the answer is, Rosa? You made the tickets. Can you finish the rest? Yeah. You will lose them. I'll put them in my pocket. 
Very good job. Give me the tickets. You will lose them. I will put them in my pocket. Good job, everybody. And now it's time to listen and write. Now listen and write these sentences. Number one. The singer played a tambourine. Number two. The guitarist was drinking a coffee. Number three. The bass player was wearing black faded jeans. Number four. The beautiful vocalist threw the pink roses into the happy audience. Number five. The organist played his solo slowly. Number six. Robert always buys his concert tickets at the door. Number seven. I want to meet the bass player and my brother wants to meet the drummer. Number eight. We were waiting outside for an autograph, but Rod Stewart had already left. Number nine. You can go to the concert by yourselves. And number ten. That guitar pick is mine. Now check your work. Number one. The singer played a tambourine. Number two. The guitarist was drinking a coffee. Number three. The bass player was wearing black faded jeans. Number four. The beautiful vocalist threw the pink roses into the happy audience. Number five, the organist played his solo slowly. Number six, Robert always buys his concert tickets at the door. Number seven. I want to meet the I want to meet the bass player, and my brother wants to meet the drummer. Number eight. We were waiting outside for an autograph, but Rod Stewart had already left. Number nine. You can go to the concert by yourselves. And finally, number ten, that guitar pick is mine. Now read the story and answer the questions. Callie is a groupie. This means that she loves to go to exciting rock concerts and meet the musicians in the band. When the show is finished. She always tries to go backstage by herself. Sometimes she is lucky. Sometimes a big, angry security guard escorts her outside quickly. Fortunately, one of the security guards is her boyfriend. He sometimes helps her go backstage and meet the stars. Sometimes he can't help her because his boss is working. Kelly has met many famous stars. She met Bruce Springsteen in March. 
She thought he was friendly. He was busy, but he still found a minute to meet her. She met Avril Lavigne last summer. Avril was very shy and quiet. It was her first tour. Kelly wants to meet Bono. She wants him to give her an autograph. Unfortunately, U2 is not on tour this summer. Kelly is Irish, so of course she loves U2. Now listen and answer these questions. Number one. What is a groupie? Number two. What does Kelly always try to do when the show is finished? Number three. What is her boyfriend's job? Number four. Why can't he help her sometimes? Number five. Who did Kelly meet in March? Number six. What did she think about Bruce Springsteen? Number seven. When did she meet Avril Lavigne? Number eight. Why was Avril shy? Number nine. Who is Bono? Number ten. What is Kelly's nationality? Now check your work. Number one, what is a groupie? A groupie is a person who likes to meet rock stars. Number two, what does Kelly always try to do when the show is finished? She always tries to go backstage by herself. Number three, what is her boyfriend's job? He is a security guard. Number four, why can't he help her sometimes? He can't help her sometimes because his boss is there. Number six, who did Kelly meet in March? She met Bruce Springsteen in March. Number six, what did she think about Bruce Springsteen? She thought he was friendly. Seven. When did she meet Avril Lavigne? She met Avril last summer. Why was Avril shy? It was her first tour. Number nine. Who is Bono? He is in the group. You too. Number ten. What is Kelly's nationality? She is Irish. See you next time. Goodbye. I was talking with my students in class today about music. It was amazing to learn what kind of music they like to listen to. All kinds of things. Um, arabesque, pop music, classical music, and even opera. I was really surprised by the variety of musical tastes. Yeah, they like a lot of different things. Recently in my class, they asked what kind of music I listened to when I was in college. Can I take your order? What do you have to drink? We have coffee, cappuccino, and tea. I'll have a tea. I'll okay. have a cappuccino. I'll have an orange okay. juice. Tea, please. Okay. So I'm curious too, Monica. What did you tell them? Well, I have three older brothers in my family who love classic rock. You know, the Beatles, the Rolling Stones, Aerosmith, Led Zeppelin. I think I've heard Stairway to Heaven 10,000 times. Tarek, what about you? Well, I prefer modern music like hip-hop and dance. That's what I grew up with. Hmm, 
Have you guys noted that popular music today is different from 15 years ago? What do you mean, Carrie? Well, it seems that songs here come and go so quickly. A group puts out an album or a song, it's around for a year, then it's gone and no one remembers. I think that's right. When my class was talking today, they named some musicians and groups they listen to and follow. And, to be honest, I, I had never heard of most of them. That's because you're getting old, Dave. Very funny, Monica. Okay, time for a favorite musician survey. Okay, go. What questions do you want to ask? Hmm, let's start with Monica. Okay, I'm ready. Go ahead and ask. Okay, first question. Who was the first album, CD or cassette that you bought for yourself? Hmm, that's easy. It was a Duran Duran tape. I bought it when big hair and spandex were really popular. <laughs> okay, second question. Who was the best rock singer? Hmm, that's more difficult. But I think that Robert Plant from Led Zeppelin was really great. I loved him. Dave. Here's a different question. Who is the best rock guitar player? That's easy. The Rolling Stones are my all-time favorite band. So I would have to say Keith Richards is the best guitar player. And Mick Jagger is the best singer ever for a rock band. Hmm, really? I'm not sure I totally agree with you. Oh, really? Well, let's ask you the same question. Who's your favorite rock guitar player? Well, I'm more of an Aerosmith fan. Joe Perry on guitar and Steve Ty Tyler as it really works for me. Yeah, I like them too. In high school, my friends and I thought they were incredible. Ah, uh, Tarek, we didn't ask you what your musical favorites are. How about you share your ideas? Well, believe it or not, I'm here with the students at the school. I don't... I hardly know who you guys are talking about. Mick Jagger, Steve Tyler... Who are those guys? They're all old grandpas. Isn't Mick Jagger 60 years old? Yeah, these guys have been around for ages, but we like them for their music, not their age. Well, I'm not really into the classic rock that you guys are talking about. What kind of music do you like, Tarek? Well, I like to go to raves. You know, those all-night dance parties where people dance until dawn. We don't really have a band. There's a DJ who keeps the music going for hours. People dance and dance all night. Wow, I didn't know you liked going to raves. My sister just went to one of those back home, and she had a great time. Well, next time I go, I'll let you know. If you want to come, it could be a lot of fun. In fact, you could all come, if you want to. That'd be cool. Shall we go? Sure. Hmm. Mm -hmm.